Hi again, children. Well, in today's session, we are going to be looking at analog and digital times again, and we are going to focus a little bit more on that 24 hour format. Okay, so our first task for today, and you're probably going to have to pause the video here and have a go. You are going to match the time. So you have some digital times here, analog times in the center and some more digital times at the bottom. So you will find a matching digital time at the top and bottom. Because remember with that 24 hour format, you can show the same time, whether it's 4 a.m. in one way and then 4 p.m. would be shown in another way. So pause the video, try to match the three clocks together. Okay, so I've got 4.10 here. What I'm first of all going to do is just make a note next to each of these clocks. I'm just going to show them in the AM format. I'm going to read the time on these clocks. Well, this is the hour would be zero one, and that would be there would be five minutes past. That's one, so that would be zero one zero four. Okay, I'm just going to put that on there, so then I can compare them here. I'm going to put it up here and then move it in a minute. So I've got. Oh, my hour, I've just gone past zero four colon in the middle of my digital time. That's directly on the two. So that would be 10 minutes past the hour, 0410. And then my final clock, that's pointing to the nine. So zero nine. Oh, no, because I haven't got to nine yet. Remember, be very accurate. So zero eight, not quite at nine. Zero eight fifty. One, two, three. So zero eight fifty three. Okay, so now I can start to match the different times up with one another. I'm going to use my nice straight line. Okay, so 0410 goes to 0410 here. But then if I am looking in the 24 hour format, remember to change from an AM to a PM format in the 24 hour digital clock, we add 12 to the hours. The only time where that doesn't work is if you are at midday and you are going to midnight, because if we've got, I'll show you up here, if we've got 12.30 at midday, so at lunchtime, if we are then looking 12 hours later, that would be at 24.30. But because we have 24 hours in a day, anything after 24 o'clock or even when we get on to 24 o'clock becomes the next day and that becomes zero, zero. So 12 hours after 12.30 midday is actually zero 30. Get rid of that because I don't actually oops, need that for the rest of our lesson. So if I am adding 12 onto here back to what we were doing, 0410 in the morning, that's shown on there. And what I need to do now is add 12 on to four, so that's 16. So 16, 10, those three are all showing the same time. Okay, equally, if I am trying to read a 24 hour clock time here, so I've got 20, 53, and I think, oh, I've no idea what that is. Subtract 12 from your hour, and it will give you the actual hour that we read in the 12 hour format. So 20 subtract 12 is eight. So this time, there it is, is 8.53. They go together. I've already got 8.53 on there. They match up with one another. And then let's just check 13, four again. We're in our 24 hour format. So subtract 12, 12, 13, sorry. Subtract 12 is one. So that's 104. That goes with that one. And that one goes with that one. Lots of lines. We all know how much I love lines all over the page. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So here, fill in these, fill in the gaps on this 24 hour number line. Have a go at that one. Okay. So that's 15. Now we can just fill them in by counting along, but actually we're, I'm gonna try and do it by looking at my uh, 24 hour, 12 hour format. So 14, so look, you can see here, these would be the PM times. Once we've been around the clock once in a day, this would be on our second time. So these would all be AM times, and these would all be PM. Okay. So if I've got 15, 15 subtract 12 is three. So that would be, so three AM or three PM would be 15. Four add 12, 16. So six, if you ever see 16, it's the hour on a digital clock. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Eight add 12 is 20. So 20 on that digital clock is 8 p.m. 22 will take off 12. 22 take 12 is 10. So that would be 10 p.m. 11 add 12. 
That's 23. So 23 is our hour is 11 p.m. And you can see here that we go to 00, zero for our midnight at the beginning of the next day. Okay. Which 24 hour time matches the time on the analog clock? Have a go at that one, children. Okay, so to do this, I am going to make a note, first of all, and I'm just going to read the hour as it is on the clock, because that's easy. I can always convert it later to a, um, a later PM time if I need to. So I've gone past three, just put the screen as if you can see me, sorry, so zero, three, and then I'm pointing to the five, so five, five, so 25, so 25 minutes, so it's 3.25. Unfortunately, looking at these times, doesn't match there, doesn't match there, doesn't match there, doesn't match there. So I've got 25 in my minutes, so straight away I know it's not that one. And I know it's not that one because regardless of whether we are in 12 or 20 hour, hour, 24 hour format, our minutes will be the same. So it will be one of these two. Which one do you think it is? Well, three add 12 is 15. So 3 p.m., 3.25 p.m. would be shown as 15.25. If the clock shows this time, the time, sorry, I couldn't see it because I'm in the way, the time, let me just move it so that you can read it better. If a clock shows this time, the time could be 1740. Is that true or false and why? Well, I'm gonna write the time. So it's not yet at six, it's zero five. And our minute 30, 35, 40, it's 0540. But it says, could it be? 1740. Well, if I add 12 to my hours, 5 add 12 is 17. So actually, 1740. Is it true or false? The answer is true because it could be. We can't tell on an analog clock. If we're using a 24 hour format on a digital clock, we can tell if it's AM or PM. If we ever look at an analog clock, one of the disadvantages is you can't tell unless you're looking outside the daylight or nighttime, whether it is an AM or a PM time. So here we can't tell which one it is, but here, yes. So yeah, it could be 5.40 in the morning, but it could also be 5.40 in the evening, which is represented in the 24 hour format on a digital clock as 17.40. Look at this clock, right? The 24 hour time it would match in the morning and the evening. Have a go at that, children. Okay, so we we'll start with my hour. So I've gone past eight, but haven't got to nine. And I always start I can, with the 12 hour format and then just convert it to 24 and pointing directly at eight. So four. You can also use these uh, digits around the sides. If you know your five times table, because eight times five is 40. So that's how many minutes it is that will uh, hack there for you. And so we've got 9 out, oh, 0940, so that would be in the morning. And then in the evening, we're going to add 12. 9 out 12 is 21, and then 40. I'm just going to put a bit of space there, don't like how it looks. Not that it really matters too much. Oh, of course it does now. Actually, it looks better without the space. Sorry, children, I'm just being particular, but I want it to look exactly how it would look on a digital clock. Okay. Right. So the town hall clock is analog. So it's with that clock face with the digits around numerals around the edge. It chimes every hour. Billy looks at the time on his smartwatch. So he's got a digital format here and he's obviously using the 24 hour format. And it says, if Billy waits until the next time the, ta next time the town hall clock chimes, the easiest sentence in the world to read out, how many chimes will he hear and explain why? What do you think? Well, the easiest way for me to do this is to change this to a 12 hour format. So it's going to be 10 minutes. I'm going to come in front of you. And actually, 20 is my hour. So 20 subtract 12 is 8. So it's actually 10 past 8 at night. But that hasn't answered the question. The question says it chimes every hour. If he waits until the next time the town hall clock chimes, how many chimes are they here? Well, the next time it chimes, will be 2100. 21, yeah, will be our hours, nine o'clock. 
Okay, it says 21 subtract 12 is nine. So it will be 9 p.m. Now he is not going to hear 21 chimes because uh, clock chimes, things like that don't work on the 20 or four hour format. They all work on the 12. So the next hour he gets to will be 2100. That's how we read it like that. We say 2100 hours, but actually that in our 12 hour format in our analog format is 9 p.m. So how many chimes will he hear? He will hear nine. Okay. Oh, I can't read the top. Sorry, I've got something in the way. Maddie and Sean were supposed to be at the restaurant. You can't see the top either because my head's in the way. At 19.25. Here are their times they arrived. So Maddie got there at this time. Sean got there at that time. Who arrived on time? Who arrived late? To help you before you have a go at this one. Just change this to your 12 hour format so you actually know what time they were supposed to be arriving. Because if you don't know what that time is, you're not going to be able to answer the question. So just have a go now. Okay, well, 1925, 19 subtract 12 is 7. So they were supposed to be there at 7.25 p.m. I've just realized I've forgotten to add a.m. and p.m. on the times I've done earlier today. So I do apologize if anyone has spotted that before me. Well done, you brownie points. So they were supposed to get there at 25 past 7, 7.25. Who arrived on time? So obviously you know what's coming next. What are you going to do on these two clocks? Make notes. So Maddie got there at 7 was our hour. We can write it as 19 as well. I'm going to write it in both formats at the same time. She got there at 19 directly at the 5, so 7.25 p.m. Or 19.25 because I just added 12 there. And then I'm going to do Sean and then I'm going to look back because remember there could be more than one possible answer. So don't just guess straight away. Yeah, Maddie, because it said who arrived in time, who arrived late. Maybe neither of them arrived late. So Sean got there. It's not quite eight o'clock yet. So she's still on seven. She's still on that 19. But actually, I'm pointing here. So we're on 45 p.m. or 19.45. Okay, so now who arrived on time? Well, Maddie got there dead on time, not a minute earlier. She arrived on time. Maddie arrived on time because she got there at 19.25, exactly. Oh, didn't need the PM at the end of that, Mrs. O'Connor. Okay, and Sean arrived late. How late was she? She was actually 20 minutes late. Sean, it's not what we expect from Sean, is it? Thought she was going to be on time. Okay, final problem for today. And this is the final problem we are going to work out together this week. The school clock is stuck. And some children have written different times. So Holly has got 10.55, 22.55. So maybe the batteries have run out, but this is what the clock is showing. Mira has said 10.55, 20.55. Dan has said 11.55, 23.55. Explain who has correctly guessed the two times the clock could be showing not a big fan of this word guest. I don't think they've actually guessed the two times. I'm going to change that word. Who has actually calculated or read the clock accurately to show the two times? Because those are the two times. And they haven't guessed it. They've worked out what we do when we're working with maths. So pause the video now, read the clock and see who has read the time accurately. Okay, so. I'm going to read this time. I'm going to write them down in 12 hour format first and then convert it. <clears throat> so not quite at 11 yet. I'm on my way to 11. So it's 10 is my hour. And then, excuse me, <coughs> pointing directly at 11. So I'm on 55 minutes. So 10.55. So Dan, you're out. Okay, and then I'm going to convert it to my 24 hour format by adding 12 to my hour. So that would be 22.55. So let's see who has correctly worked out the two times that the clock is showing. It's actually Holly, isn't it? Because Mira got the first one correct, but actually she went wrong here because she just added 10 rather than adding 12. And Dan just read the hour wrong. He did what I've done a couple of times. And he just looked at that saying 11 and actually didn't think, no, it's not quite exactly pointing to 11. So although he added that 12 accurately, he didn't read that hour properly. 
Okay, so it's time for you to go off and do your independent learning now. Well done on everything you've done this week. Really proud of you. Excellent learning, excellent maths. Well done, children.